Hey there everybody and welcome back. This is the first video in this newly completed how to make a social slash sharing app series. So this is a playlist on my channel where I'm gonna be walking through how to use AppGyver to create a mobile application completely free without code. And I'm gonna be walking through creating a sign in, sign up page, as well as some moderately complex forums. So a couple of things to cover is first and foremost, the structure to the series itself. I'm going to be changing these thumbnails shortly, but essentially the thumbnails are going to change for the main videos in the series. So there's a couple of parts, but then there are some additions. So if we're scrolling through, for example, there are two videos right here that are going to stand out just a little bit. So how to use the AppGyver API. I'll be changing this thumbnail and this one will stay the same here, but these are not core parts of this series. They are updates to essentially walk you through if something has changed with AppGyver and Firebase. I'll walk over that in just a second. Now, other parts, for example, how to upload to Google Play, I'm going to keep this one as is because it's a standalone video, but it is part of this series as well. So to walk you through it, you'll have the limitations of the series, the sign up page, the sign in page, creating forum posts, finishing forum posts, because it was a pretty lengthy video, and then complex forums. So this is something that is gonna make it a little bit more complicated, but is a really useful and cool feature. Now, all of this is using Firebase as a API integration. So we're using the API function with AppGyver, connecting to Firebase for the database storage. Now, one thing to note here is these two videos, First and foremost, or sorry, these two videos here, the AppGyver API, this is more of a standalone video, but I put it here just so you can see if you wanted a quick run through of how to use the AppGyver API, here's how to set it up. I believe this is also a more recent video, so it's going to cover what it looks like more recently than when these videos were originally filmed. Now, I do not recommend following this video here in relation to this series, because this is using the new connector, but I did wanna walk you through the basics of the connector. Now, this video can be a little confusing because I just set up one specific connection. So basically I set it up to where just one variable is passed through, so it doesn't add the levels of complexity that the API calls up here did. So I wanted to walk through, this is just to show you that the connector is there and to do a very, very basic walkthrough. However, it doesn't show you how to use repeated variables, and I don't even know if this method will work with repeated variables. There may be another way to do that. So just make sure this is just for reference only, that you're not trying to use this in in tandem with all of these other videos because it will probably get a little confusing and may not work with how I have things set up. Then lastly, we have finalizing the app and then uploading to Google Play. This is a standalone video, but it is also part of the series. And then there's how to unpublish an app if that's something that you need to do. So the main reason I'm making this video is to let you know, again, some of these videos I'm trying to add in over time if there's maybe a big update to AppGyver or Firebase. But I get a lot of questions, and as both of those platforms update over time, the functions or the interface may change slightly, but the functionality should still remain. So what I mean by that, for example, I get a lot of questions with people asking about Firebase and how this is set up. So what I try to walk people through is just to let you know, if you create a project, for example, if we go to Pro Firebase right now and we were to create a project called test again, and then we click enable Google Analytics, and we'll just do default account and we click create. While this is loading, I'm gonna walk you through essentially getting that API key after the fact. But in the meantime, I wanna walk you through how to actually access this playlist in its entirety. If you go to my channel and then we scroll down, you'll see we have my video here which could change and the structure of the channel could change as well. But you're just looking for the how to make a social slash sharing app for free without coding series click play all time track we will pause right here and you'll see we have this playlist the thumbnails will change a little bit soon but the video i'm recording right now should be at the top of the playlist and these should be in order based on what i figured or honestly just how i made the app so i walk you through making the app start to finish and then uh just kind of walks you through everything so that is the playlist and how to access it just so you know so you're not watching the videos out of order now we'll jump back over to Firebase real quick and just show you what I meant. So I've had some questions about how do I get the API key. So when you're in this new Fire, 
Firestore database, essentially, or you're in your account. You click Firestore database, and then you'll see you can just click Create Database, and then we'll start in production mode. Um, again, that doesn't mean this is what you need to do. Follow the video series. This is just to show you getting the API key and some other questions that I've had. So again, the reason I'm covering the overall structure is this series has pretty much all the videos to create this application itself, but I've had enough questions. I felt it worthwhile to just create one final video to show you. This is the entire playlist with all the videos. You can access it from my channel. And again, if that channel changes over time, you just make sure that you click on the playlist. So what we can do now that we're here is we can just create our sample collection and again, follow in the the video itself for creating the forums, but we're just going to create test. So now we have the sample collection here. So if you click up here and go to project settings, you'll see you have tons of options here. So you can see you can click on integrations, cloud messaging, etc. Now, if we're looking to get our API key, you'll see we don't have one for this project. So you would create apps for each specific project. So we'll create just the web app. We'll click this button here after we've named it. And then you'll see right here, we now have our API key for this project, which I'm gonna be deleting after this video. So you just follow those steps. But the idea here is you're just creating that project. So we've made the web app. Now, if you plan to have an Android and iOS application as well, just depending on your needs, you would then click Add App, add your corresponding application. So Android, go through the steps, making sure that you're filling out your specific information, and then same process. You'll essentially get that API key for your Android application as well as your Apple application or your iOS application. So just to walk you all through that, you may need to adjust settings over time, but that's how to get the API key. Currently, just make sure that you're using the API key for the corresponding application, whether it be web app, Android, or iOS application. So make sure that you're filling in your relevant settings, setting things up the way that you would need to for your specific application, but that walks you through that. And again, the general structure. So this is the playlist. You would just go through the videos start to finish. If you have any issues or concerns, make sure to rewatch the video. And then don't forget, if you have any questions, drop them in the comment box. Sometimes I'll probably be referring people to the App Guyver forums just because they do a great job of explaining things. And I also just know a very small amount about this platform. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below. I'll try to help when I can or if I can. If not, I'll refer you over to any other resource I may be able to find. And then don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the channel for new content, and I'll see you all in the next video.